I'm waiting, Cloud. I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I <sighs> the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plate. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. Destruction. I thought another reactor blew up. Which must have been zero, caused by the tornado! Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see... Ah, over there! Oh, no. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one suspect so right. unaccounted for. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here! Get him on board! Prep for takeoff! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble! Sorry, sir! sir. Quick, uh, get the camera off him! Come on, oh, this way. Sir. Contact the SAR team. Targets have been secured. We are exfilling via Hilo now. Move it. We're taking off. What? Hey, turn that off. The, the survivors are being taken away. I can't hear them all the way. Oh no, we're not quick, do you? Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey! Her. He's got a buster's 
Heads are gonna roll if we don't find her! Just shut the hell up and search! This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aaron. I'm back. We've got the time. Want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah. No problem. It's... It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And the little there was, was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. Sorry. Hell can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on a mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wu Tai, stealing my shot at glory. 
I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Uh, fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends at our twelve! Let's go. Take one, I'll take the other. <laughs> Wait in the truck. No way! I got this! in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain, only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off-duty till sundown. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, you know that.
Then I stop by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. My dad died when I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <sighs> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home! Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud! But you know, Cloud... Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. Now's not the time. Huh? You went to my place? I figured you might be there. Wait a second! You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> Bet most of them had to do with you. Remember my cat? Her name was... Fluffy, I think? Yeah. She was always disappearing. And that day was no different. Where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit! You're a merc of many talents! Hmm. Hmm. A soldier. And you are? Richard Sangan. A humble traveler of the world. And teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Well-toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. Didn't really notice at the time, but... Looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. 
You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. Will do. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir! Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't... Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Uh, there? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. I got the rest. We still have a long way to go. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> You'd better. Cool. See you at the reactor. Come 
Eva! Are you okay? Not really! He's in Fate's hands now. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. Go spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him... He is anything but. We should press on. You said you wanted to be a hero. 
Wish I hadn't. It thinks we're after materia. Someone should tell it we're not. <laughs> Be my guest. On me. I don't just fight with a sword. Got him. Move in. Copy. Excited. Such a puppy. Take it from here. I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too! Please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. Ah! You better keep me safe. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first?
Mojo. You are really something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... The malfunction must be forcing the pods to depressurize. Cloud. Go out and shut off the valve. Copy. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. Infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. Monsters. Sephiroth. Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. That I was special. But not like this. Not like this. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M E G L 77 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh. M E G L 913 1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, 
They grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? go. Mother is waiting. Hey! Hey! Hold on! asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What?
Please be okay. Sephir. Right. Mom. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this!
mother, I have come for you. Now, open the way for me. You murdered my dad! You burned my village! <gasps> Here I am, your son. Mother, together we will reclaim our world, and I know exactly how we can do that. The Promised Land. Sephiroth! <laughs> Mother, they have come again. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... 
around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Because... He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet, with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Uh, oh, no, you don't. That bed's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Oh. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Cloud, you up? Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. You know that I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, 
at the reactor. I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongan found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Night. Tomorrow is another day. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. Was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. 
I'm going to accompany you. Oh, uh... If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. The rook's got a backbone. Morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? Yeah. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Cloud! Over here! Let's get started then, shall we? <sighs> Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. for us, aren't they? Gotta be. Down below, waiting for you. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. 
friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. <laughs> yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Sorry we're late. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh... Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <clears throat> Got that? Uh, oh. Now, let's move. To it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm, for starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? Follow me. <laughs> All right. Let's get this show on the road, people. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe... We swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can wrench a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> <laughs> well... Can we rent some birds? Can we?
fine. <laughs> well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the ride to Calm. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could've fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But, I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. Uh, the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Hmm. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest-headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah. The Undercity. Then, do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, not very well, but... Yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was... thinking about reaching out. It's his fault Mom and Dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they get help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. 
Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye... Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Yeah! Come on, y'all! Let's go bag us a chocobo! Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Aww, isn't he just the cutest? <laughs> hmm. uh. You know, they are kind of similar. Totally. <laughs> What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. <coughs> but you know where there's more? Bill's place. <coughs> oh. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot and your chocobo will come a-running. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. What races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since Mom and Dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? Okay, but how's about we stretch his legs a bit? That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. That was something else. You and Pico are a perfect match. Might even have what it takes to win a race or two at the Gold Saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by Calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though, don't run off just yet. My sister's looking for help. Not sure what the trouble is. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, she hasn't been herself since Mom left. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? We need to move on. True, but moving on costs money. Hmm. We had fun helping people in Sector 5, right? Same deal. Is that dry land I see? Let's go. He is there. What the? Hey, get back here right now! It's 
disguised itself as an island. Gee, I hadn't noticed. Focus. Come on. <laughs> Then let's end this asshole. Something tells me this thing ain't messing around anymore.
Wakey, wakey. You remember who I am? Eris. Oh, it's good to have you back, Cloud. Sephiroth? I knew he was strong, but still. Those guys are looking for him, too. They've got to be. Yeah, I kind of get that feeling as well. Let's not lose him. He's here, isn't he? I don't know. Well, monsters sure are. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good boy. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. <laughs> Enough for her standard course twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, um... Forget it. You guys need to focus. <gasps> it's them. It seems we've caught up. Come on. Not. Nothing we can do. Right. I don't know. We shouldn't just leave him. Know what? I'll go check. Okay. I'll come too. Nah. You stay. I know what I'm doing down here. You don't. Last thing we need is you getting hurt on us. I'll accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. Okay, if you're sure. Sorry to... I mean... Thank you. <clears throat> you keep track of the other robes now, you hear? Of course. Ticket out of here. Let's see. Wait. Seriously? What are we even doing here? Uh... Sorry. But I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Orders are orders. The whys and wherefores are not our concern. Yeesh. Maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? <sighs> I say we put him down. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Assholes. Who's there? 
Sharp ears. Oh, damn it. <gasps> no freaking way. Avalanche. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Where's Reno? On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. And a consummate professional. Go on! That's it! Think fast! Come on, run. Rude. Just like we practiced. Gotcha. Bring it. you want a hole in your head. Now then. Y'all got a lot to answer for. A lot of blood on your hands. You need someone to blame. Just you look in the mirror. For us, however, things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh yeah? Bullshit! Take care of Aerith for me. <laughs> Elena! Nice one, Red! Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where they going? They're following Sephiroth. 
Or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together. Oh, hey guys! Over here! <laughs> Y'all taking a breather? Or what? The bridge is out! Do you think you can give us a hand? Hmm. Let me see. Appreciate it. <laughs> Two grand! And don't you forget. Time to rock Cranky Boy here back to sleep. So now, now, now's my chance. Hit it with everything you've got. Ooh, gotta love it. Now, gotta beat it head on. Back up the limit. Bring in the heat. So that's how you want to play it, huh? Guess we're going for the head, then. Fine staircase. Thank you kindly. <sighs> hey! What took you? Stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away. Right? The ground here could give way at any moment. We shouldn't linger. True. But don't forget, Shinra knows we're here now. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. 
I ain't stopping. Not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. We all know what's at stake here. The fate of the world. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth. Hey, check it out. Just them? Guess so. To. Is that... Shunar. Shinra territory. Come on. One moment. <laughs> Welcome to Underjunon. Our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. Hmm. 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 What? Avalanche, huh? That depends on who's asking. A woman who could turn you in. And be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. Uh, half a million? <laughs> Down here, though. We know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Uh, sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what. But the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea, or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town, then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, low profile. Hello there. Room for one. Please. Vex 
sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! Quickly! Please! Attention. On it! Girl, come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. <sighs> don't just stand there. Help me. You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start. Uh
Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Ugh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Dum 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 Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. Alright. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who is that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. Right. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow? Sweet! You won't be sorry, promise. Later! Um... I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. The gang's all here. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! Wutai? me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that! <sighs> Although, that is something we do. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive, so I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess! <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. 
<laughs> okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Ow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> I know you're in there, my friend. If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now, you don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it. Who's that? <sighs> A pain in the ass. Let's go. Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gainsborough. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Oh! Hey, you guys! We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck? Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak, I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> awesome. All right then, now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you written all over it, Merc. 
Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way... Huge help, Priscilla. No prob. Well, guys and girls, and, uh, dog, I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Ten hut! security than I thought. More worried about the parade? <laughs> Guess things have changed. They got higher priorities. Personally, I think that's a good thing. The city's size, on the other hand. The robed men won't be easy to find. They're definitely not here. Let's head into town. Any idea what that is? The Highway. Shinra's pride and joy. 
The fastest, most advanced airship in the fleet. Screw the boat. Let's take that. Unless you got a trained crew and piloting skills we don't know about, we're sticking with the boat. That's too bad. Would have been perfect. Hey, beggars can't be choosers. No. We'll leave them be. For now. <laughs> Enter. An emissary from Wutai is here. Sent by Viceroy Saruf. Oh? He introduced himself as Colonel Glenn Ladbrock. I thought you were dead. <laughs> then you thought right. Let's cut to the chase, Mr. President. The Viceroy and your late father had big plans. I assume you intend to carry them out? Correct. That's good to hear. Some people just don't have the stomach for war. And this battle for the Magnus Materia demands commitment from both Wutai and Shinra. Thank you. I'm aware. But my father is dead, which changes the equation. A new vision is required. <laughs> You always did prefer to march to the beat of your own drum. This new vision include your fairy tale promised land? <laughs> you Shinras, you take and you take, and you never give back. Left to you, this world would end up an empty husk. But war can put things right. Beget anger, desolation, hatred, and in its wake, new unity. A people rejuvenated, and a planet once more made whole. What we're doing's for the greater good. Just gotta know when to ease off the gas. Now listen. You started this, remember? No more playing the idle air. You have obligations to fulfill. <laughs> Let's give the people what they deserve. Oh, right. Before I leave, a message from the Viceroy. Congratulations on your inauguration, Mr. President. Shinra has a bright future. <laughs> Those troopers seemed pretty psyched for the parade, huh? More like eager to prance around for their new paymaster. <laughs> Now, I know what y'all gonna say, but I gotta ask. What? If Rufus is in town, are we really gonna let this opportunity pass us by? Hmm. Hell, I'm not saying we kill the man, but we ought to at least give him a talking to. Rough him up a little, maybe, you know? 
Actually, I'm gonna have to agree. First, the Turks say, do whatever, we're not after you. But then, Cloud's biker buddy rolls up and says he is. We gotta straighten this out. Okay, but how? We can't just walk up to the president in the street. Hmm. Or maybe we can. Huh? We bust up his parade! No. That's how we die in a hail of bullets like a bunch of dumbasses. The city's crawling with Shinra troopers. We join the parade. Hide in plain sight. Get in, get close, get answers. Seriously? Sure. Wow, that's good. No arguments here. <laughs> Barrett, Brett, you guys find a route to the port. See what security's like. And keep an eye out for black robes while you're at it. Now hold up! Fatigues won't be enough to disguise you two. <sighs> True enough. Shut up. All right, see you in a bit. I gotta go find a uniform. Oh, we're coming with. I'm so pumped for this. This way? Yeah. Ceremony will be starting soon. Now we're talking. Huh. They're actually kind of cool. Well, ready to suit up? Yep. <laughs> Three steps back, if you please. <laughs> Been a while. Got me. <laughs> Hold it. It's the damnedest thing. But I don't recall seeing the three of you at practice. Am I to assume that you simply... forgot? Sorry, sir. <gasps> sorry, sir. sir. You're sorry? Do you have any idea how important today's ceremony is? Do you maggot? Form check now. You will give your commander a flawless performance. And if you show her anything less than perfection... I'll feed your ass to a behemoth! Now what? Just follow my lead. I still remember the basics. I'm having second thoughts, you guys. What the hell are you doing over there? The commander is waiting! Sir! Attention! Have to hand it to you three. You've got guts skipping out on practice. That, or you're idiots. Let's find out, shall we? I'm not about to take any chances today. I'm warning you now, though. One slip up and I'll chuck you straight into a Marlboro's mouth. Clear? See what you've got. Now, begin! <sighs> that 
was a disgrace! But your confidence, I commend. <clears throat> He'd serve as a sterling example to the others, ma'am. Congratulations! You are hereby promoted to Parade Captain of Midgar's 7th Infantry. You will be our model trooper, the one to march at the head of our drill team. Which means that our performance, satisfactory or otherwise, is now your responsibility. Ma'am! As parade, Captain, you will round up your fellow troopers currently on leave in Larboard Junon. You will recall that, to march in the parade, each drill team is required to muster five units or more. Look for the Seventh's Brassards. They'll identify the best from the rest. Once assembled, you and the team will report to Starboard Junon. Tardiness will not be tolerated. Now, make us proud. Ma'am! Ma Boy, that was lucky. Hey, you sure about this? Is the parade really gonna get us to Rufus? The parade won't, but the presidential commendation will. That's how these things go. The president himself gives the award. Wow, that's some plan. I mean, it's risky, but... Gotta go big or go home, right? <laughs> cool. Ready to rally the troops, Captain? Yeah. Just remember, Midgar, 7th Infantry. Anyone with one of these guys, right? Come on. Listen up. As we march, the eyes of the whole world will be watching us. And we, uh... And we cannot, we will not, let our great city of Midgar down. Failure is not an option. It's a big ask, but we can do it, together. Because we have our captain to guide us. Look to him, trust in him, and he will lead us to victory, so long as we follow. Isn't that right, sir? Uh, right. Now bring it home. Today is our day. It was made for the 7th Infantry. We will win that commendation for our city. And we will return home as champions! Yes, sir! Who's gonna show the rest of them how it's done? We are! I can't hear you! We are! Captain, the parade's about to start. Don't wanna be late, sir. Of course. When did we last use her? Five years ago, sir. Let's blow off the dust. But, but, sir. Even a ceremonial display would constitute a violation of the ceasefire. 
Wutai would view it as a willful act of aggression. And? It's a new era. Let's ring it in with a bang. <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. Nothing like fireworks to rouse the spirits. Mr. President, it's time. celebration of the century. As you can see, the streets of Junon are abuzz with excitement. People have turned out in droves to catch a glimpse of the new president, Rufus Shinra. And here comes Midgar's mobile unit. Their incredible skills are truly a sight to behold. Wow! Can you even hear me over this crowd? Uh, the president has stopped. Ready to fire, sir. Welcome to the New World Order. Fire! Ladies and gentlemen, with a single blast of Junon's famous cannon, Rufus Shinra has announced his arrival. Junon as the final team of the day takes their position. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Midgar's 7th Infantry. The captain and his team have trained long and hard, determined to win the presidential commendation for everyone back home in Midgar. I can't wait to see what kind of performance they'll put on today. Troopers of the 7th Infantry make us proud. Left! Face. First sequence, begin! They're doing quite well. They're in perfect sync. Their movements are so crisp and clean. Second sequence, begin! What a performance! Direction. You're watching history in the making, folks. That concludes the first part of today's performance by the 7th Infantry Drill Team. Our judges are currently tabulating the votes from you, the viewers. And here they are now. Frankly, I'm already blown away. And folks here seem to agree, the crowd is loving it. The only question is how they're going to top this. Drill team, halt! First sequence, begin! Begin! 
it all looks a little stiff. Practice makes perfect. Formation, change. That practice is paying off. I can't take my eyes off them. It all looks so Final effortless. Final sequence. Begin. They're in perfect sync. And with that, the Seventh Infantry concludes the second part of their performance. As ever, Pick our judges up, have been TV. busy tallying all the votes we've received. So let's take a look at the results. Universal acclaim, and little wonder given the skill and coordination on display. Keep this up and the seventh might well be destined for glory. I wouldn't bet against them. Left, face. Formation, change! Solid work. Their movements are so crisp and clean. I can't take my eyes off them. Final sequence, begin! That practice is paying off. This makes perfect. Such excellent direction. Do they seem a tad nervous? This is looking promising. What a performance! And with that, we've reached Talk the end of the 7th oh, Infantry's oh, performance. Oh, 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 sorry about that. For the final time, the judges are tallying the votes for you, the viewers. <laughs> and now, let's see the results. Listen to that crowd. Judging by this response, it's clear that Midgard's 7th Infantry has made a lot of new fans. There's no denying it, folks. That was a performance for the ages. Yes, sir. Around the clock. They remain unaware. Leave them to me. I want you and your people tracking the ropes. Understood. We're back on the clock. I trust you know the mission by now. to congratulate you on the stirring performance you've done your company proud. Your passion and patriotism is beyond question, and I know our president can't wait to thank you all. <laughs> of course, some among you are deserving of special praise. For our first award, we will recognize the division whose exemplary display eclipsed all others. The prize for outstanding performance goes to... Midgar 7th Infantry! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> no!
If you would do the honor, sir. The late president, my father, single-handedly turned a small arms manufacturer into the greatest company the world has ever seen and transform all of our lives with the miracle of Mako. So I invite you to join me in a moment of silence for a great man gone too soon. We live in challenging times. Some may feel that I am too young, too inexperienced to lead us. But to them, and to you all, I say this. The Shinra Electric Power Company will endure. The challenges we face can be overcome if we summon our courage and cut ties with the past. Yesterday is behind us. We must look instead to the promise of tomorrow. For today is a new day. And the first of a long, arduous journey which we must take together. Follow me, and we will reach our promised land. This I do solemnly swear before you all, as president of the Shinra Electric Power Company. My friends, place your trust in me, and together will we achieve our dream of a better world. Commendation to present. The award goes to Midgar's Seventh Infantry. <laughs> To accept this award on behalf of the team, three of the best will now join me. Come on up. The president has invited three members of the 7th Infantry to come and accept the award on the drill team's behalf. Salute! Your performance today was nothing short of incredible. Midgar's 7th Infantry is, without a doubt, the pride of our people. Congratulations. Hmm. The general's praise. The president offers his congratulations to the team. When the only imaginable of those three troopers... Are... The hmm? I have a few private words to say to these troopers. Cut the feed. Sir! You! You're on crowd control! That ain't right. Excuse me! Need to get through! Barrett! Over 
there. <sighs> of all the times. I rarely talk to the rank and file. Why not take off your helmet? Cloud Strife. That was a first class performance. One worthy of a soldier. Stand down. But, sir! You are a fascinating individual, Cloud Strife. Your file was as gripping as it was enlightening. Which is why I have a proposition for you. At present, Midgar requires my full and undivided attention. The city is Shinra's beating heart. Its devastation is a humiliation, and the world must see us rebuild. To that end, I need to refocus my efforts, and push certain duties to one side. Get to the point. My father left me a mountain of unfinished tasks, like the recapture of a fugitive of ancient descent. The recovery of a stolen lab specimen. And, of course, the arrest and execution of Avalanche. None of which, frankly, are of any interest to me whatsoever. I'd gladly wash my hands of it all. So what? You're gonna let us go? Just like that? Yes. Provided you keep your distance from Midgar, that is. No more stirring the proverbial pot. And the same goes for me? But why? Because I have a new vision for Shinra. So we go free. And you get... Sephiroth, dead. <laughs> He's an unsavory relic of our past. And I want him gone. But in our current state, Shinra lacks the resources to get the job done. So I turn to you. It's a deal. You have a lead, I take it. The guys in black robes. Clever you. You know who they are, don't you? According to Hojo, they're connected to Sephiroth. Shadows of the Man, I believe he called them. Follow them and you'll find him. Right. That's your game. It wasn't us. Spare me. You had your chance. Sir, please! Swing the rooftops now! Don't let them get away! <laughs> Yuffie, that was her, right? Yep. What do we do? 
get the hell out of here. Hey! What happened to Rufus? Long gone. Shit. So what now? I saw one of the robed men. He was headed for the port. Let's follow him. Place is on alert. Are you sure about that? We've still got the uniforms. Go on without me. I'll take care of the 7th Infantry. Though I'm off the scent. Alone? You sure? Trust me. It's easier this way. Captain! Get going. Sir, your orders! Just received new intel. The suspect is en route to Larboard Junon. I'm to convey this information to all nearby units. Go join the search. I'll catch up. If I may, sir. We've heard rumors that there are others in league with the terrorists. Conspirators in stolen uniforms. For your own safety, sir, allow us to accompany you. Midgar 7th Infantry never leaves a man behind. Right. If the enemy is among us, other units are a potential threat, and we must treat them as such. Uh, good point. But you can trust us, sir. Like we trust you. <laughs> we'll alert all units from here to the port elevator. When that's done, we'll regroup with the rest in Larbor Juna. Got it? Yes, sir! You really ought to have told me you wanted to join the parade, my friend. The mobile unit would have loved to have you. <laughs> My quarry has cast you aside. How tragic. <laughs> Fans of yours? <laughs> Fans of ours. Didn't you know? You and I. Living legends. I got this. Sir. Oh, isn't it exciting? The two of us together again at long last. Picture it. A duel to end all duels. Are we fighting or what? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to set the stage. First, the music! Let's not forget the lights! <laughs> Actors, to your marks! Hey! 
king? My friend! I fear our audience finds this sport underwhelming. And we have a reputation to live up to! match was ours alone. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your champion! <laughs> I must say, you have proven yourself as a capable leader of men. Then again, I expected nothing less than the best. As a leader of my own band of brothers, I hold you in the highest respect. And so for you, our fearless captain, a gift. I insist. yourself. You guys had Lardboard without me. Sir, I have to ask. Oh, the jackass with the bike? He's... a jackass. That we know, sir. What I wanted to ask is, why you keep trying to shake us? Are we really that much of a burden to you? Uh. Or, are you the assassin everyone's looking for? For what it's worth, I want you to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> no need to take the joke that far, Captain. We know the culprit's a young woman. Just lightening the mood but we get it you clearly have things to do things you can't divulge to us we're sorry that we didn't see it sooner sir sorry sir it's okay at ease the fact is we would have never won that commendation 
if you hadn't brought us all together. I might be out of line for saying this, since we only just met, but... The Seventh feels more like a family than ever, and we hope you feel the same. You're not out of line. It's been an honor, Trooper. But you're right. It's time you guys went your way, and I went mine. Will we see each other again, sir? <laughs> Count on it. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Great. Now then. Let's not keep our friends waiting. We better get in line. All right, next. They're screening passengers. What now? We try the back door. Can I help you? Yeah, we're, uh... We are the winners of the President's Commendation. As a reward, we got a trip to Costa del Sol. The Commander-in-Chief said that we could hitch a ride on your ship. First time hearing of this. Well, the President's a busy man. Those guys with you, too? <gasps> Where'd they come from? Captain, sorry, but you're needed on deck. The fight's broken out. Looks like we're in for another fun crossing. Got space in second class. Be sure to mind your P's and Q's, huh? A lot of bigwigs on board. As for you, back to work. Aye, sir. Oh, and your dog stays in the hold. Got it. was hard. The air's different here, isn't it? Compared to Midgar, very different indeed. Though perhaps a little sharp for my taste. for a little reconnaissance.
Well, actually, I was kind of hoping we could talk business. Uh, what kind of business? You know, business. Boys. Oh, that kind. <laughs> Adjourned for now. <laughs> so, how's it looking up top? All the robes are in second class. Haven't seen any sign of Shinra, though. We can ditch the uniforms. Aww. Well, it's been an honor, Captain. Captain? this deal Rufus wanted to make with you. I know it's off, thanks to Little Miss Ninja's stunt, but personally, I think she did us a favor. Nothing good ever came from making deals with the devil. Shinra can't be trusted, no matter who's in charge. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. Good evening, and welcome aboard the Shinra 8. We're sailing smoothly towards Costa del Sol and expect to arrive right on schedule. Though your time with us may be brief, we wish you all a pleasant voyage. As for this evening's onboard entertainment, we will be holding a Queen's Blood tournament in the lounge. Any and all interested guests are welcome to join regardless of experience. See the lounge staff for details. You heard the man. To the lounge. <laughs> Come on! Are you gonna join today's tournament? I'll be... Attention passengers! The Queen's Blood Tournament will be starting shortly. This is your last chance to sign up. The winner of today's competition will take ashore a trophy, as well as a fabulous prize. No cards of your own? No problem. Decks are available for rental, so come and join in the fun. You playing? I might. <laughs> then I might see you around. Sign ups for the Queen's Blood Tournament are over here. So you're the one to beat. The one to lose to. Regina Conigan, Queen of Cards and reigning champion. Until now. Aw, that's cute. Word of warning. I'm not just gonna beat you, I'm gonna destroy you. We'll see about that. Everyone always says stuff like that. We'll see indeed. Present to you. Not so fast, good captain. I get to show my hand. Yeah. <laughs> 
What a twist! At the 11th hour, a bold new challenger has taken the stage! But will our champion agree to face him? And is our man of mystery a contender? I know I can't wait to find out! Seriously? Though I am far from humanoid, the illusion can be maintained with the aid of a little flamboyance. Impressed? No. Don't let prior knowledge blind you. Clear your mind and take another look. But enough talk. I've issued you a challenge, Cloud. Face me, if you dare. Yeah, hard pass. I've had enough cards for one night. Come on, Cloud, kick his butt! You got this, Red! Oh yeah, it's all! Oh. It appears that Cloud has agreed to play an exhibition match. One last time. Get ready to shuffle! Let's play! Yeah! How exhilarating. I may have lost, but that was a good match. Close, too. You nearly had me. How the hell did you get so good? By watching others play, a hunter must be observant. I first learned the rules, and then the strategies. It was just a matter of applying what I'd learned. Huh. So we paid off. Ladies and gentlemen, our champion, Cloud Strike! For your magnificent performance tonight, I present to you this sparkling trophy. Congratulations! And on that incredible note, our Queen's Blood Tournament draws to a close. Thank you again to our amazing contenders for making today so memorable. We hope all our passengers enjoy the tournament and that the remainder of your voyage with us is both peaceful and relaxing. That was a blast. Yeah. Didn't expect to see you. I couldn't bear to pass up the chance. Well, lucky for us that you didn't. You were amazing. So, what now? We arrive in the morning, right? Yep. Attention all passengers, we have an emergency on board. Return to your cabins and remain there for the duration. Military personnel are to report to the deck immediately. Military, huh? Guess that's us. The whole ship is crawling with fiends. They're everywhere. Please, you have to help. Copy. We're on it. Good. I'll round up the stragglers, but there's a lot of ground to cover. You, give me a hand. Lead the way. Thanks. Follow me. Come on. Handle this. Deeper. Little help here. 
Titov. Don't know. He said something about getting more firepower, then took off. Guys aren't being targeted at random. The Shinra Eight's currently en route to Costa del Sol. Unidentified fiends have surrounded and boarded our vessel. A small contingent of troopers is engaging the creatures as we speak. And the fiends have merged with some of the passengers tattooed men in black robes hmm? I contacted public security but they said this falls under your jurisdiction <laughs> an intriguing development this new mutation <laughs> Mm, and one resulting from fusion, no less. The superior genetics producing a far stronger being. How I envy your opportunity to be present for this epochal event. At the very least, I must harvest a sample of its DNA. So, what should we do? Hmm? Ensure the experiment proceeds uninterrupted. And in return, you will have pride of place in my lab. However, do mark your body to aid in identification. <laughs> Busting my ass trying to keep these guys alive. They won't fight back. Stand aside! No. Those rogue men have been merging with the fiends, becoming monstrosities bent on killing us all. But no more. Not on my ship. Hey, take it easy! <laughs> <laughs> sake of my passengers and crew. She's a monster. That she can peer inside you, into the very depths of your soul. That she can become those you hate, those you fear, those you love. And they call her... Genova.
Good evening, everyone. This is your captain speaking. I'm happy to announce that the earlier disturbance has been resolved. All passengers are once again free to move about the vessel as they please. We will be arriving as scheduled at Costa del Sol in the morning. On behalf of the entire Shimmer 8 crew, we wish you a peaceful night's sleep and hope you wake refreshed and ready for fun in the sun. Get out of here. Should probably wait for them. Right. Huh? So a little sightseeing couldn't hurt, could it? I mean, come on, we're in Costa del Sol, people. Costa del Sol. <sighs> Perhaps we could find some shade first. I'm about to melt. Could save you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang loose. <laughs> Hang loose. Hang loose. Hang 
you. <laughs> Greetings and welcome to Costa del Sol. I'm Capono, the mayor here. Go on. Here you are. Perfect. A gift to get welcome. you in the mood. Welcome. Thanks. After all, there's nothing like a good welcome. lay to kickstart your getaway. <laughs> That color really brings out your eyes. A shimmering seaside paradise awaits you, with only the bluest skies and earthly delights on all sides. <laughs> so forget your dead-end nine-to-fives, cause here the fun lasts all the way to sunrise. Welcome to Wonderland, <laughs> my fair <laughs> ladies. <laughs> One for you. You see that? Yeah, but let's find a hotel and shower first. Then we can go. <sighs> you better not be suggesting we all hit the beach. Hey, hey, I saw that. Don't go thinking I didn't. You two said it with your eyes. Du -du -du. Hey, Cloud, want some ice cream to cool down? Or are you looking for something hot? Just admit it. You're obviously captivated by my bodacious beach bod. Yeah, obviously. Wait, you are? I, uh, didn't expect you to have an eye for beauty. But, don't forget that I'm more than just a pretty face. Are you sure you don't want me on your team? We hope you enjoy your time. We're only accepting customers with prior reservations today. We hope to see you again soon. Tifa! Cloud, my bro! Tifa! No way. Johnny? <sighs> Whew. Hey, guys! Looking good! <laughs> Same to you. So, what are you doing here? Living the dream, building my legend, being the owner of a bona fide hotel, <sighs> though not exactly a luxury one. What a coincidence. We were just looking for a place to stay. Do you have any rooms? Do I have rooms? I got rooms for days. Enough rooms to make your head spin. <laughs> That's what happens when you have no guests. <laughs> I don't know about this. Don't need to be shy. We go way back, yeah. right? <laughs> it's the least I can do. All right, let's get you settled in. Now? Of course, come on. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Behold my pride and joy. Johnny's Seaside Inn! <sighs> wow! It's, uh... I don't know. Great! I know, right? Maybe my eyes are failing me, but I don't see no seaside. It's not about the sights, but the smells. Ah, how that fresh salt air tickles the nose. Well, come on in. Okay, let's get everyone checked in. Tifa, you'll be staying in room 101. Aerith, you're in 102. As for the dudes, you can all bunk together in 103. The price? I'd never even think of charging you. Besides... Uh, I gotta run. The mayor requires my assistance at this time. Make yourselves at home. Not like there's anyone else here anyway. Oh, you guys better not head to the beach looking like that. And don't even think of bringing those weapons with you. Oh, fate is so cruel, depriving me of Tifa and beachwear. Time for that shower? Yeah, I'd say so. See you guys soon. How soon is soon? Soon enough. No need to stick to a schedule here. Right? Right. You win. Think I'll go take a walk. 
Though, I should maybe get changed first. <laughs> Still looking good. Well, back in a bit. <laughs> Hold down the fort till I get back. What's a stand-up guy like you staying at a dump like this for? I can show you somewhere way better. Place is a sty, right? Whole building's barely worth a hundred gil, and yet the owner's drowning in debt to keep it open. Takes a special kind of sucker to wind up in a mess like that, you know? The beach is for partying, and one's not a party. It's a pity, but you don't have to be lonely any longer. We're bringing people together, solo sun tanners like you, for the special event. One we guarantee will spice up your social life. Find love at Costa Del Amor. So, will you be joining us or what? I'll pass. Aww. Got plans with those guys. Later. Uh, uh, so, they're <sighs> friends of yours? Then, can you do us a solid? Those roped people are a little different, right? And they've kind of been creeping the other guests out. I mean, look at their clothes. They kill the vibe. So, if you could get them out of here, we'd be so grateful. Speaking of clothes, they'll never let you on the beach looking like that. This is Costa del Sol. You gotta loosen up. Let it all out! And to help you with that, here's lucky ticket number seven! Take it! Uh. With that, you can play Pirate's Rampage and Card Carnival. But, not all by your lonesome. Your number's the same as someone else's. Mm -hmm. Find them, and you've got yourself a team! Work together, master the games, and you'll earn companion cards! <laughs> you can turn those in for beachwear! And once you're dressed to impress, you'll finally be ready to hit the beach! Right? right? So, start searching and let the fun begin! Best of luck finding that special someone! <laughs> Hang loose! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. What's with them? Talk about killing the vibe. Hey, what's up? They're getting some sun too, huh? Yeah. Just can't help but feel sorry oh, for them, yeah. you know? Poor uh, bastards ain't done nothing to nobody. Creeps. But we treat them like monsters all the same. You're freaking everyone out. For real. Take a hike. Hey, you leave them alone. <sighs> Thanks for keeping watch. I'll only be a sec. Take your time. Uh, well, the water won't turn off. <laughs> Johnny sure found himself a real fixer-upper. Kinda reminds me of home. Are you almost done? Aerith? Aerith, are you alright? Tell me, what color would you say this is? None? Thing is, it used to be white. At least, it was back in Midgar. A 
Materia is formed from the life stream itself. Orbs infused with knowledge, memories. The Whispers... they took all that from mine? These memories were precious? Yes. Extremely. Weren't you headed to the beach? Some time with Tifa might lift your spirits. Yeah. Tifa, you ready to soak up the sun? Cause I sure am. Uh, yeah. In a sec. Ready. Now, let's find us some resort wear. And then we can finally hit the beach! Yeah! Let's, let's roll. roll! Whoa! Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <clears throat> Tifa looks as majestic as a breaching whale, and you, Aerith, are as luminous as a sea snail. <laughs> that your way of complimenting us? Human beauty is hard for me to assess. Totally by <laughs> How's it going? Like, seriously. Oh, look at these two. <laughs> Not even trying to blend in. Uh, Honestly. Well, Did you miss us? Cloud? Something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. It's just hot. Uh, in the sun. Speaking of which, you guys should probably put on sunscreen. <laughs> I think I'm pretty good as is. Okay, can you get my back then? <sighs> Make way, people! <laughs> back it up! <laughs> what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, Joe. Oh. What a wonderful surprise it is to see you again. Uh, rest assured, I'm not here for Aerith. Though, were she to offer her assistance, I'd gladly accept. Don't hold your breath. Oh, I won't. At any rate... <sighs> a very special show is about to start. One starring you, perhaps. Now this <laughs> is so much fun! Hey, what do you have up your sleeve? You got the time. <laughs> <laughs> so you heeded the call too, did you? What are you talking about? <laughs> Not consciously, then. As you can see, your brothers down there are having a little get-together. Uh, line them up. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, let's move along, sir. This way, <laughs> and stop. There you go. You that ought to do it. Don't be shy. Good <laughs> what the hell are you playing at? That, my friends, is for me to know, and for you to find out. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Not cool! Not cool! Not cool! Ah, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Ah, oh, yes. yes! Only a reunion could produce such results. Long last, I have specimens worthy of my attention. Sick bastard! I'll kill you! Barret! Now's not the time. Fine. Someone has to stop them. Like us. Return to the fold. We're so glad you changed your mind, Ellie. <laughs> I ask your compliance, future sister. For the sake of the scientific process. <laughs> Unlike my colleagues, I have no desire to pursue fairy tales. Let's be down easy but I've got an idea do me a favor keep it busy Let's 
do this. Let's see what you can do. Johnny? No! Don't! What the? Let him go. We've done enough. I couldn't find the bartender, so I, uh, helped myself. Costa del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Yeah. Lots happened since then. A lot. Good and bad. Ever wish you could just... Snap your fingers and forget the worst stuff. It's a part of who we are. Whether we like it or not. Yeah. The deepest wounds never really heal. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. Nah, I'm good. Next time I ask for a cocktail, it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. At least, that's what I promised Barrett. And when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. Alright, Mr. Secretive. You do you. Hate to say it, that girl really came through for us back there. Unlike me, I couldn't do a damn thing for those poor bastards. You tried. That's all you can do. And all that matters if you ask me. <laughs> you? Trying to tear me up? Now I've seen everything. It's because of Hojo this place is in ruins. No, I can't blame him for our actions. I know I should strive to maintain my composure around him, but... Don't sweat it. Anyone would want to punch that smug asshole. I know I do. <laughs> Your fists and my fangs. We've come so far, but it still feels like Midgar's right behind us. We were his prisoners, me and my mom, Ethalna. He kidnapped us because she was a Cetra. A specimen for his experiments. And after what he did to her... After all the pain and the horror he put us through... I hate him. Sometimes, I imagine the things I'd do to him if I got the chance. I start thinking things so dark and ugly that it scares me.
They're just thoughts. Let them be dark and ugly. You are not. You think so? What I'm trying to say is, worry about the future when it comes. You'll know what to do. And whatever you decide, I'm with you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Shall we? No need to worry about the future till it comes. Not until the moment arrives. And when it does, I'll be counting on you. Good. Not you. That was to her. My future self. Can't say when you'll meet, but trust me, you'll love her. Just you wait. Well, guess this ends our fun in the sun. Yeah, though fun ain't the word I'd use. So, back to the hotel? Johnny's famous sea smell in. What's up, guys? Johnny, are you all right? <laughs> Never felt better. You're the man of the hour. I don't know. You see, a few kind girls who saw what happened on the beach gave me the lowdown. On the hotel and Mayor Capono. Ugh, I'm a moron. How could I be so blind? You borrowed a lot of money from him, right? Will you be able to pay it back? So... The girls told Capono, keep leeching off our hero and we'll smear your name so bad Shinro will kick you to the curb. And the crazy thing is, it worked. He caved. I am footloose and debt free, baby. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Johnny, the local hero. Proprietor of the Seaside Inn, soon to be Seven Star Resort Hotel. Now that would be something. You know you gotta get one star before you can get the other six, right? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but I got plans! Ow! 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 ow. Well, good for you. <laughs> uh... You okay there? Great! Now watch him fall up the stairs. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Nah, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, what's next for you guys? Gotta follow some ropes. Oh, those dudes shuffled off toward Mount Corel this morning. Tried to get the injured ones to stay till they were healthy, but... Corel, huh? Corel it is. Be safe, you guys. Wouldn't want anything to happen to my inaugural guests. Bon voyage. Uh, hello? Aren't you all forgetting about someone? And... Action! Some know me as the world's greatest materia hunter. Others, an unstoppable assassin. And the rest, a benevolent and beautiful ninja. But, who am I truly? Who ties what goes? The one and only Yuffie! Hold it, you spiky-haired jerk face! Where do you think you're going? 
I challenge you to a duel! If I win, you get the honor of serving yours truly. However, if you manage to somehow fluke your way to victory, this amazing ninja will agree to join you. <laughs> what do you say? have to fight. That is, unless you really want to. Oh, abort, abort! Tactical retreat! <sighs> the hell is her deal? Hey! Where do you think you're going? <sighs> think this through. Are you absolutely 100% certain you don't want me around to save your butts? You can come with. I knew you'd say that! Well, seeing as you're so desperate, I guess I'll oblige ya. Welcome to the team, Yuffie. <laughs> You try anything funny, anything, I'll shove you in the sister ray, point it at Wu-Tai, and blast you back home. Yeesh. But I hear ya. Ooh. <laughs> you won't regret this, or my name isn't Yuffie Kisaragi. See you over here, and... <laughs> Out of service. So we've got a walk? Uh, you'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. <sighs> right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud! Materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> All right, timeout's over, team. Let's go! You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Huh? Oh, so hard. Didn't get permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? Sure. You can do it while you're warming the bench. That's an abuse of power. Tyrant. Tyrant! Tifa, tell me your secret. Get out of this weird face. <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you too, Tifa. Think Aerith might need a break. Sorry. My legs are killing me. <sighs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the materia I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and scout the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <clears throat> <sighs> Think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. Come on. Out you go. Again? 
Well, look who it is. <clears throat> you here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon. And then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here... busy people. She'll be more than happy to keep you company, though. Now play nice, shit birds. The Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia Project. As you are aware, 
Simultaneous energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors. Unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas, organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. Hmm. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time monster hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves? I'm aware of your efforts, but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well. Well, they would look good in the lobby. <laughs> Put them in the bathroom for all I care. Just leave me the carcasses. Those I'll take. Mr. President, please. What is this really about? Wutai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes? There's a question I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. Hmm. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend, or even confirm if it actually exists. <laughs> Great though he was, my father was old. And in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him. <sighs> Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. <sighs> I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. Yeah? Let me in! Um, Elmira? Zack, right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. 
Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taken care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith's, uh... Yes, I know. You okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith? Yes? What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation. Sorry we're late! You okay? Yep. Really worked up a sweat. So, how'd Recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises, and... No materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here! So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it! Hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? They're Shinra's victims. Huh. Well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. Hmm? How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was... pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. <sighs> the old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock! 
His squad saved Wu Tai from those senile old fossils, paved the way forward. They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good. <laughs> but why the interim? Because once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> Just gonna stand there? Let's get going! So, like, all that stuff down there is Mako? Yep. Then, it's gotta be hiding some ginormous materia! Woohoo! Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful, it's scary! Set only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. We'll keep moving. Hey! Not cool! This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon! <laughs> A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning... Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra's not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. He is, and talking won't stop him. Now, can't cross till we lower it. Well, this sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control room's up there, at the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. Huh? <sighs> We're working on it. Just wait a minute. Hey! Cloud! Come on. the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? <laughs> Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. All 
right, put on your mining helmets and follow me. As a fan. Ah, no fair. <sighs> Got enough hangers on already, but fine. <laughs> <sighs> hey, hey, hmm? check out its head. Does it remind you of anyone? It's Cloud, only cute. <laughs> <laughs> that settles it. I hereby dub thee Cloud Jr. <laughs> hey, we could take that minecart down. Save ourselves a hike. Not the smoothest ride, but it sure is fast. Me and Dine used to. <sighs> Forget it. Let's just lower the bridge and get back to the others. One of these buttons ought to do it, but which one? Hmm. I got this. Ugh. First that, then... Now that the bridge is good to go, let's touch base with the others. Roger.
This is Special Agent Yuffie. Can you read me, Commander Cloud? How you doing? Feeling better? I'm good. We'll take a cart back down. You three follow the tracks till you hit the bridge into town. Figure we link up there before heading in. You copy? Copy. Oh, and set our route while you're at it, will you? The gentler the ride, the better. Don't want anyone losing their lunch. I'm begging you, Cloud, please. I wouldn't mind some excitement, but what you gonna do? Cloud! What's our route looking like? Do what I could. Should be fine. Are you sure? Like, really sure? Thanks for that. Sit tight. We'll be down soon. Only way out is through. So buckle up, buttercup. It's fine. It's just a cart. It can't kill you. Mm. You okay? <sighs> uh, better than I thought, actually. Guess Cloud didn't feel like completely screwing us over. <laughs> what a letdown. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. Uh, who's this? <clears throat> Think of him as a tag along. <sighs> Wait a sec. That is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Jr. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Jr. Kill me. <laughs> Didn't even get to say goodbye. At least we know he's with family now. Sir Wallace has graced us with his presence. Hmm? Surprised you had the balls to come back, but we're so glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> Heroes welcome. Leave him alone! Don't. What? <sighs> Whatever. Let's go. What? 
to the wise. Stay far away from that asshole. Now where'd our buddies in black get to? Don't tell me. Get rich quick scheme blow up in your face again? Try to sell out another town, huh? Don't let him talk to you like that. I can take it. Do not be deceived. You know the truth. Trust in me. Sephiroth! gotten into you, man. What's going on? Barrett Wallace. Dr. Sheeran. It's... it's been a while. <laughs> Certainly has. <laughs> That's one frightening-looking appendage you got there. But hey, at least you still seem to have your health. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I'm feeling the miles, but the work keeps me trucking. I tell you what, though. Do you remember me? Well, of course I do, Tifa. It hasn't been that long. You heal up all right? I did, yeah. I just wanted to drop by and say thank you. If it wasn't for you, I doubt I'd be standing here today. Don't thank me. Thank Lady Luck. And Shinra for that helicopter. I'm sorry, Shinra? I know you might find it hard to believe, but not all the apples in that bunch are rotten. But seriously, you're living proof of the good in people. Don't ever forget that. It'd be a pity to let their kindness go to waste. Yeah. Besides, you need to set a good example for your friends here. Oh, right. Well, I gotcha. Mind helping me out? Need to draw that gentleman's blood. You think you can hold him still for me? <laughs> At first, I thought it was just Mako poisoning. It is, until I ran some tests. The results were... strange. Strange how? A substance turned up. One I've never seen before. Not sure what to make of it yet, but it did remind me of one I have seen. Your eyes. Soldier, right? X, soldier It's not a job, son. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Huh. Spare a drop? No. Yeah. <sighs> I ask, because I suspect they're soldiers suffering from cellular degradation. Just a theory for now, and one I can't prove, not without a lot more testing. You see many of these guys come through? Yeah, and then some. I do what I can for the injured ones, but leave the rest to stumble onto the saucer. Why would they go there? <laughs> Don't ask me. I think it's odd too. Ain't that something? The girl I saved coming back here with Barrett of all people. I'm sure there's some kind of cosmic significance to that, but hell if I know what it is. <laughs> so... Doug mentioned the gold saucer, right? As in the amusement park? Where every day is a holiday? We're going, right? I mean, we have to! Yuffie, this isn't a vacation. Yeah, yeah. Weird mumbling guys, got it. Oh man, this is gonna be so much fun! Town's got a ropeway that'll take us straight there. It's not far. If we're doing this, let's just do it. This'll take us all the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. We should go back and beat him up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. I 
told you. I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but... I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Soot and porous dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dine. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we have. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let him tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? In favor? <sighs> Two years later, the reactor was finished, and the trial run went off without a hitch. Everyone was ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. And then, Shinra came rolling into town. Burned everything. Innocent people in their homes. Was that Scarlet? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. That bitch! I don't get it. Why burn the whole town? To craft a story. That it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lied right through their teeth. Murderers. Hmm. That they are. 
still. There's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. I pushed for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. Barrett. The saucer's waiting. Sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. The gold saucer. Huh? So turn those rounds upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. Right. Want to have a look? It's coming up over there. <laughs> Glad to see we're all on the same page. Lockhart and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. Cloud, the others are waiting. Oh, 
you ready to booty! <laughs> for the evening. <laughs> Welcome to our gilded paradise, the Gold Saucer. Dio, Art Director. And you, sir, are... Cloud. <laughs> well, Cloud, shall we duel? Let go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? You can do this, Cloud. <laughs> yeah, right! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, Cloud! <laughs> Give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause! <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> nice punching up there, Cloud. <laughs> A small token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> <Snore>. Cool. 
You and me go book us some rooms. Fine. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get some sleep, okay? Hmm, let's see. The hotel's gotta be that way. Have here a man with a rain cloud over his head. So how about a reading to clear those somber skies? Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just then he goes shooting the messenger. Eh? This some kind of toy. You know, lads, eyes up here. Huh. Okay, Seth, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. It's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off. You coming? Gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, 
He was joking. Make it six. Very well. Now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Hmm? Hmm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? <laughs> it feels so good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please, proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. Hmm. There you are! The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you through. You can answer any question? But of course! Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. Okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you see. All right, hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last-minute twist may pleasantly surprise you? What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What, indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on! Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait! Don't go! Third time's a charm. Come on, you stupid thing. Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. The stars work in mysterious ways. <gasps> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. Um, see what this crap does. My apologies, sir. To go down, I presume. Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! Oh. Reservation, under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics? 
<laughs> yes, of course. Oh, one moment, please. <laughs> It says here you canceled those rooms? What? No, we didn't. <sighs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. <sighs> Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, waitress! We've arrived. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. Johnny's seaside fleet trap. I'm gonna head out for a bit. Cool. But not for fun, just to take a walk. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. than I thought. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Huh. Never seen material like this before. Something about the color. <laughs> Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. Hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Biggs. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. How do you know him? I'd rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> <sighs> Sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. Huh? Mean it? Always do. 
honest and true. But <laughs> let me guess, you don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. Hey, how are you feeling? Do you need anything? Some food? Water? I'm fine. You were right, just needed some sleep. <sighs> you alone? Yeah, Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on the Skywheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. So here I am, the odd woman out. They hit it off quick, huh? Must be nice to make friends that easily. What, like you can't? I don't know. I act like I can. Think I always have. Ever since I was a kid. Anyway, you up for a little exploring? With me. I mean, no pressure. Of course I'm up for it. See you again soon. Cloud. It's Jesse. Back when I was still finding my feet in Midgar, I ran into some trouble. But she took me under her wing, helped me out, saved me, really. Sounds like her. I admired her. She was so cool and confident. Like nothing could bring her down. Yeah. I know. I owe her so much. Thank you. For everything. Well, shall we? Yeah. So, where to next? The races, maybe? Not again. Done for the day, I guess. She was always a star, but just imagine her up there. Yeah. Wish I could have seen it. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience 
dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. <laughs> Looks fun, huh? <sighs> What's going on? I... Uh, I don't know. Your attention, please! We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. Cloud, we've got trouble. Is that a cat? What is it? Get to the Coliseum, on the double. Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, alright? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. This has to be a mistake. Let's go find out. Ring, ring. No. Uh, excuse me. Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please. Shit. It's like I told you. Someone went in a rampage. And now... I'll take it from here. I... I'm Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? Hmm. A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen. With an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... A gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which 
you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. headed is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the Gold Saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mugging, maiming, murdering, it's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? The uh, Merc for Hire? Got it in one, boss man. But which <laughs> one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donny C? Yeah. Let Think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're nice. looking for someone. Hey there, man. hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always oh. trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So, the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the dunes. 
Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find so it. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. Uh. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt! <sighs> so yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your piggies. Right, Cloud, Come on. help us out, Paul. Oh, hey, chill out, kiddo. Go. We'll take excellent care of them. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds <laughs> I require. Hmm. Can put a price on anything. Trick. Ah, uh ah. -uh. That's Gus to you. Ooh. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Ah, yeah. Later. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> Yo! Brought your new champ! Hmm. He's all yours! So, you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrinky. I'm Esther, Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Well, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? It in a fryer. <laughs> the one and only. When you're ready to head up to the stadium, just speak to your babysitter over there. <laughs> Oh, before you go, if you happen to have any more greens, consider trading them in for racing gear. Vegetables are hard to come by down here, so I'd be happy to buy yours. Pico's as ready as he'll ever be. If you can't win, you got no one to blame but yourself. How come y'all get to eat veggies? Okay. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. Okay, on you go. Competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? A bug boy? Hmm? <laughs> hey there, Joe. Why, Esther, you grow lovelier by the day. <laughs> uh-huh, sure I do. Oh, where are my manners? This here's Joe. He's one of Sam's jockeys. <laughs> and as much as it pains me to admit it, the man's far and away the best rider in the sport. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. This is Cloud, an up-and-coming star of the track, and all ours. Be sure to wave hi when he laps you. Well, sounds like you got a fan, son. 
I wonder, though. You win her over with your skills, or with one of them smoldering looks? <laughs> Don't see why it can't be both. About time I had some competition. Assuming Esther's not full of it. For both our sakes, I hope she isn't. <sighs> Forget him. The race is starting soon, so stay focused. Speaking of, you might want to consider practicing. The sim here can help with that. Our next race will begin shortly. All participating jockeys, please proceed to the paddock. survived that recent shooting. <sighs> You're not talking about the Colosseum, are you? Yes, I was there. Or I would have been had I not gone to the bathroom just before. That's amazing. <gasps> You're so lucky. Aren't I just? Which is why I know my bird's a winner. <laughs> Ooh, what a scrumptious looking parfait. And with plenty of butterscotch, I see. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Get eyes on him. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Do you know how hot it is out here? I'm melting. God, what asshole decided our uniforms had to be black? I'll be there as soon as I can. You freaking better. And bring something cold to drink. Or better yet, ice cream! Is vanilla No, okay? vanilla. Seriously? I'm getting heat stroke over here! I'm gonna die! You want that? Do ya? <sighs> Wish you were here, partner. I just provided the encouragement. And thanks to you, my prison's gonna be a goddamn palace! Good for you. Ooh, so frosty. But here in the desert, we like it hot, fiery, dangerous! <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Now where's our guy? <clears throat> Easy, Snowflake. Solemn Gus is a man of his word. Are you scared I'll break my promise? That tunnel over there will take you where you need to go. Past all that quicksand like a slippery little sidewinder. And at the other end, one of my beautiful vultures will be waiting to guide you through the desert. So be a good tourist. We got old Shooty McShooterson tied up nice and tight in a shack out in the scrapyard. But now he's all yours. Turn him over. Give him his just desserts. It's your call to make. You guys moving on then? And what are you gonna do? Since you put Pico's name on the map, we'll stick around for a bit. Try and get a winning streak going. Besides, 
We still got a score to settle. Sure you'll be okay on your own? No man with a bird is ever truly alone. Hey, Cloud. I know you need to hit the road, but... If you're ever itching to get back in the saddle, come around. Pico will be here. No, we'd love a victory lap. Not good. Uh -huh. Not good at all. Uh -huh. Run! This way! Barret? Move! I'll be chewing on sand for weeks! God, we found you. We were worried. You on the lamp, big guy? The hell I am! <sighs> what are you guys doing all the way out here, anyway? Looking for whoever decided to shoot up the Coliseum lobby. They said... the culprit had a gun for an arm. <sighs> they did, huh? Tell me it wasn't you. Frankly, it might as well have been. Barrett, talk to us. I know the man who murdered all those people. Dine. My best friend. It was four years ago. The Corral Reactor had just gone up. Dyn and I had been to check it out, see what the deal was. But on our way back... None of this makes any sense. That explosion could have brought down the whole mountain. So where the hell's Shinra? That's a damn good thing. <sighs> Whatever. We need to get back. Tell them what we found. God, no. Barrett! Dine! It's the mayor. It's Shinra. They just showed up and started chewing. I think they're trying to cover up what happened at the reactor. To pin the blame on. Hey! Please. This ain't happening. God damn it. The village. Marlene and Eleanor might still be there. Still so quick to throw in the towel, ain't you? Come on. Damn it. Do I have to do everything? Shinra has a reputation for safety to uphold. Which makes you liabilities. Marlene. 
brain. So Merlin's. I managed to get away, but I was bleeding out. Figured that was it. Until Doc Sheeran came along and saved me. Put me back together. Most of me, anyway. There was no saving my arm, so I made a call. Instead of the normal prosthetic, I chose a means to an end. Guess Stein had the same idea. I guess he did. I resigned myself to the fact that he was dead, but if I'd known he'd survive too, I... So that's why Dine shot all those people? To get back at Shinra? I don't know. I saw him at the saucer. Saw the bodies and the bullet holes. But that's not who Dine is. Whatever his faults, he's not a monster. If I can find him, talk to him. I know we can figure this out. Well, okay! What are we waiting for? No time like the present. And you're sure he's here? We're sure. <sighs> I'm sorry. But I need to do this alone. Barrett. Go. your heart dropping by for Eleanor's birthday. What? Hell, Marlene. Set a place for Barrett. <laughs> yeah, he's looking fit as a fiddle. Huh. Good question. She ain't with him. Where's Myrna? She ought to be here. Come to think of it, I don't see a gift, neither. But you ain't the kind to come empty-handed. God damn it. his kind doing here you son of a bitch still living on Shinra's kill no man it ain't like that <laughs>
Do it. Please. I'm here to help you. <laughs> You? Here to help me? <laughs> He's here for you. To take the load off your shoulders, right? Same old shit. Stay back! This is between us, and no one else. <laughs> Just you and me, then. Right here, right now. Please!
can't live like this anymore. Barrett! Stay away! <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? A way out. But where's that leave me, huh? <laughs> I thought you wanted to help your own buddy! No wise words. Coward. When the going gets tough, he's gone. Yeah, you're right. About everything. I should have never believed him. But that money... It changed our lives. Well, it changed them all right. You know, I can hear her now. Eleanor, as clear as day. Begging me to stop, give you the benefit of the doubt. Saying you ain't done nothing wrong. But then who's gonna answer for what happened? Oh, I know! Shinra! Always Shinra! Oh. Just turn four. She's in Midgar. Look at that. She's got her mommy's eyes. Hair, too. After everything went down, I didn't know what to do. Myrna was dead. And I figured you were, too. All I had was guilt and regret, and the weight of it was too much. But Marlene gave me the strength to carry on. She nearly died that day. House was about to come down when I heard her crying. And ever since... She's been my reason to get up in the morning. You took my baby girl from me. You knew she meant the world to me. You knew, and still you took her. That's not true. You took everything from me. Everything and everyone. Dying. We could go see Marlene right now. <sighs> Look at me, Barrett. You think I want Marlene to see what her father's become? Stop. With all this goddamn blood on my hands, how could I ever hold my daughter again?
guilt. That weight. Dine. Dine. Baby. I'm home. Gus guy was just yanking our chain. Same. That said, is it okay to let the director get involved like this? Were you going to stop him? Deploying riot control armor. All units are to pull back now. Well, have fun down there, boss man.
We gotta go. They'll be on us any minute. They're on us now! Awaits. Dio? Hmm. I've been using this to eavesdrop. Can never be too careful. But you are innocent. And I was wrong. By way of apology, I gift you this. You will receive a proper burial, I promise you. Thanks. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! <laughs> um, is this not a bit much, sir? Hmm. The safety of my every guest is paramount. I don't know what happened in Midgar, but to me it matters not. Hmm. You are always welcome, my friend. <laughs> okay, does anyone know how to drive this thing? Leave it <gasps> to me, lass. Here for you. <laughs> to help take the load off. Huh? I mean it, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think you might. Come on. Looks like this is goodbye, old buddy. your chance. Leave this riffraff to me. Time to get the blood pumping. Oh, 
this thing over right now. What the? Are you drunk? Hang on tight. Oh, shit. What's wrong with you people? That ought to do it. If you don't mind my saying, you're in an awfully good mood. Well, it's been productive. <laughs> Don't have too much fun. Sir, what is the status of the ancient? We still have eyes on her. Is she looking for the promised land? We don't believe so. I see. Is she a higher priority than the materia? Hmm. Not her so much as her birthright. It's a dream of mine, to see it with my own eyes. Understood. We'll step up surveillance. It's a dream of mine. How cute. Who are you? Really? Oh, come on. You know me. And I know you, Mr. President. You and your fears. <laughs> Still just a child. Aren't you? A pig-headed, pathetic, daddy-hating child. And under that brattish exterior... ...loneliness. I don't deny it. Why would I? It's brought me all this. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. We really need more people like you. To give the world a shot in the arm.
But what do you truly want? Let's start this manhunt. We all go camping. <laughs> Shit. Think that's Avalanche? Could be. Not to worry. I already check put it in out. my resignation. There's our man. Any better? Uh, leave me. <sighs> Where to now? We don't have any leads, and driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is the worst idea ever. When you don't know where life's leading. You should get yourself a reading! Ooh! Meow, 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 meow. Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um. Mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait! Barrett, you mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor? Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody, back in the car! Let's go, go, go! <sighs> Well, couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. My, just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? 
Oh, Cloud? Mind taking the wheel? <laughs> Alright. Float it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can say Mako! Of Gongaga awaits. It's about time. I'm freaking starving. <laughs> Maybe our lucky food will be on the menu. <gasps> are these? They are Gungaga mushrooms. They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here. Here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Passing through. You. What? Uh, nothing. For a second, I thought you were someone else. Who are you people? Aye, you'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no, just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see? <laughs> we shh. Well then. Welcome to Gungaga. I'm Cisne, Coalition Captain. And sorry, didn't mean to startle you before. Just doing our jobs. Back to your posts. Ma'am! Ma Ma You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course! <laughs> Come on. Thank you. So what is this? Three years ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance which Shinra never provided. And then one day... So, they're cheap as well. Huh. This was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? <laughs> That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy, so feel free. I'm, uh, gonna take a look around. <clears throat> Seriously, get some rest, okay? Those Gungaga mushrooms you found? They're all yours if you want them. We got more than our fair share. Yours? Come in. Please. Hmm? Your eyes. 
You're a soldier, aren't you? Um, was. You wouldn't happen to know our son, would you? Zach? Are you all right? Fine. What did you say his name was? Zack. Zack Fair. Zack? Sorry. No. Our son just up and left one day, determined to chase his dreams. At first, he wrote us all the time, but... When I first saw you, I thought, maybe this is the girl he was always talking about. Sorry if I made you feel uncomfortable. I doubt I was the only woman in his life. Charming guy like Zack. <sighs> <laughs> Wherever he is, I hope he's enjoying himself at least. They do say no news is good news, right? They sure do. Say, if you do happen to see Zack, would you tell him that we miss him, and to please get in touch? Of course I will. We should probably be heading back, don't you think? What? Already? At least have something to eat before you go. Thanks, but we don't want to keep our friends waiting. <laughs> Another time, then. <laughs> Here. Hey. That wasn't very nice of me. You remember me telling you about Zack, right? At the playground? How he was my first love? Yeah. This is where he grew up. And now that I'm here, it's... a lot. So when I saw someone who looked like him, I don't know. I had to say something. Didn't even occur to me to think how they would feel about it. Pretty selfish, huh? Waltzing in there, stirring up memories. I don't know. They didn't seem to mind. Sure they did. But thanks. So, the Zack guy, you still like him? Wow. You went there, huh? Maybe. He's never given me a reason not to. Calls, no letters. Oh. Leaving you out in the cold like this? Forget about that loser. Hmm? He's a soldier, right? Then I hate to break it to you. But if he's been gone this long, the man is dead. Cloud? Sorry. I'm gonna go lie down. Well, that clears that up. He definitely doesn't know who Zack is.
another time. be a weapon. <laughs> Wait, do you know something about this? Could say that, yeah. You've been hearing it for a while? For a few days now, yeah. The Coalition tried to investigate, but some creatures kept us from getting into the reactor. Though all they did was fly around. Just the sight of those weird black wisps was enough. More than enough. No, ain't that something. You could see them? Uh, yeah, of course. Why? Do you know what they are? <sighs> Whispers. <laughs> well, this just got more interesting. So, when do we leave? You, young lady, are on guard duty. <laughs> Yeah, you've been a real team player. <laughs> Keep an eye on her for us. I'll do my best. Let's just get in, take a look, and get out. Figure you, me, Kate, and Red can do that easy. Agreed? Agreed. Let's go. You guys hold down the fort. No fair! No fair! <laughs> Damn. Nature came back swinging. That's the Michael Rich land. What's good for life is great for reactors. See your way in. Not as we know them. How you figure? Come. It's time. Let's follow him. Come on. We must be close by now. How much longer? We expect to arrive within the hour. <laughs> then I'd better choose a suitable toy. Will that be necessary, ma'am? Of course it will. I'll make sure that it is. I wouldn't they go that far? Let's get to work. Too much Mako here. Oh no! That's a Relnico! Shit! 
again. How did they... You told them, didn't you? What? It wasn't me, me! I swear! Mako attracts all kinds, gnats and vermin included. Scarlet! <laughs> Thank goodness I had the foresight to bring some exterminators.
Let me help. Chocobos. Oh, look at these cuties. <laughs> and just in case. Good idea. Thanks. It's a total mess inside the reactor. He should help you get around. You need to be careful. Don't ask me why, but my gut is telling me that something big is about to go down. And more often than not, it's right. Don't worry. Whatever it is, we can handle it. Show 
cloud. Don't let her fool you. She has no scar. You have no scar. She's not. You're not Tifa. You can't be. We've been over this. I do have a scar. I showed you, remember? Liar. We love those we fear. Genova will become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this. But I'm no fool. Tifa. Pumpkin. Mom? Dad? Tifa! Over here! Come on! This way! Yeah! Come play with us! Fighting? Where... 
Where are we? The life stream? Me too. Not evil. Here we come. Okay then. Thanks, you guys. Hey, look. Think Cloud wants to come too? <sighs> Cloud? <laughs> come on. Let's go. Cloud. Is this... am I dying? Just promise me one thing. When we're older, and you're a famous soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, promise you'll come and save me. Huh? That's what heroes do. They save people. Please? Just once. I don't... What is this?
Stay strong, Tifa. You'll make it. But not if you give up. You have to want it. Fight for it. Hard as you can. You need to get up now, Tifa. You can't die here. Too many still depend on you. Tifa! Come back to us, Tifa. We've got a fight to finish. down there. Your shit together. Tifa needs you. Stay with us. 